welcome to our covered bridge shop nestled in the Grand River Valley of the Ashtabula County, Harpersfield Cover Bridge Metro Park. <laughs> I'm Jeff and this is my wife Jackie and we're the proprietors of the shop. So my husband was volunteering um, to help with the maintenance of the park with mowing and um, weed whacking. He spent a lot of time down here and he would look at this old bait shop that was in need of dire repair and um, he thought it would be nice to open it up, renovate it, and open it up. It was once a bait shop, not a gift shop, but once a bait shop. And so um, our his brother, my brother-in-law, who was a wonderful artist, very talented man, had retired and moved back here from Florida, and he thought it would be great if he could manage the shop for us, if we did um, follow through with our idea. And so he could manage the shop and maybe sell his artwork. Well then unexpectedly, Uncle Randy passed away and um, we definitely wanted to follow through with our plan then to help keep his legacy alive. And so um, our shop has his original prints and we're able to sell his prints and other local artists, um, have we have their artwork as well. We sell a variety of all kinds of local goods and as well as um, the Covered Bridge souvenirs. About, I think it was 2009, so just uh, after the recession, uh, our county metro parks was struggling financially as a result of a levy that didn't pass, which provided the majority of their income. We whipped the park into pretty good shape with uh, new tables, benches, roofs on the pavilions, um, new flowers, uh, new beds, and of course the lawn maintenance. And the last remaining part of the puzzle was this old dilapidated bait shop. So uh, that's when, as my wife mentioned, uh, we got the idea to renovate the bait shop, uh, made a deal with the Metro Parks to um, trade our investment in the shop for rent and uh, open the shop in the fall of 2014. Well, I feel like this has been a wonderful experience for us. Um, First of all, the, the location, we're, here we are, you know, we're in wine country, we're along the Grand River, beautiful, wild and scenic Grand River. We have one of the most unusual, um, famous covered bridges, I feel like in this area, right here around us. And so, um, you know, the location is ideal for tourists and families to come and enjoy the park. The favorite part of being here uh, for me is uh, the memory of my brother and uh, every time I walk in the store, see his prints on the wall, uh, it uh, just gives me a, a good feeling um, of what we've been able to do here. We actually um, put a deck onto the exterior of the bait shop and we had um, Ashcraft Industries build picnic tables for us. And so families can sit there and enjoy some ice cream or you know, have a bag of chips and a, and a drink and just relax and enjoy the setting. It's, it's really fun to see that. It's the only bridge of its kind in the state with a combined covered wood bridge, which is the original bridge, plus a steel truss bridge that's added to one end as a result, a result of a storm. And I'm, I'm bad at remembering the years, but uh, it was in the early 1900s that there was a flood that took out part of the bridge and they replaced it with steel. It's not just a stop, it's a destination. destination.